So hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, depending on where you are in the world and at what time you're listening to this presentation. And so I'm Harleen Kaur, a senior consultant with Microsoft and an NSOs practitioner. So today I'll be talking uh, to you about the DevOps Dojo case study on InnerSource. For the scope of uh, this session, I have a, a table of contents. I'll be walking you through uh, what is DevOps Dojo, why we had to think about InnerSource, uh, what inner source means to us and how and with what we do uh, the inner source. Okay. So let's get started. So DevOps Dojo, it, it is a community of practice within Microsoft. Microsoft as a product organization has been adopting uh, DevOps practices, moving their products faster into um, the production. So as Microsoft, they have transformed from releasing a product once in three years to deploying into production like more than 82,000 times in a single day, right? So we wanted to bring the same set of practices into the services side of our business so that uh, even our internal teams and the customers can get benefited uh, by adopting those practices. So we started this community with a vision of spreading uh, the power of DevOps culture both for internal teams and for the customer. The distinguishing factor about uh, this community was that we had people within this community joining from different um, business groups in Microsoft. We had people from product group, from customer success uh, group. We had people from services, GitHub. So they bring in a wide variety of experience and field knowledge with them. So uh, to start with this community, uh, first and foremost, we wanted to have one holistic view of DevOps. So we thought, okay, let's, um, how do we start? So um, with a lot of conversations that we had within, uh, within the different teams, we came up with this uh, DevOps taxonomy so that everybody should be able to talk the same language. Right. On this slide, uh, this taxonomy may uh, look fairly simple, but there has been a lot of time and effort that has been spent uh, behind the scenes to arrive at this. So uh, with the vision of uh, spreading the power of DevOps culture and with this taxonomy in mind, uh, we had people coming from different um, different walks of life, um, talking to customers day in, day out with real customer experience, trying to solve the real customer problems. So they came in, tried to innovate, work on solutions um, with, with the community members. And then uh, they, uh, they were able to uh, like, teach uh, or uh, cascade those learnings uh, to uh, the other team members within the community. So that is where uh, we were able to upskill uh, the community members who then leveraged those learnings into another uh, delivery project. So if you see, uh, Dojo is a complete ecosystem. You have uh, people knowing about the customer problems to, uh, and coming up with solutions to solve those and then helping uh, the team members upskill themselves with those solutions, leverage those solutions in the delivery projects. And then mm, you, uh, then uh, you, once the solution is tested and delivered to multiple customers, you can build a customer offering uh, out of it and like um, pass this on to any customers who have uh, the same, who are facing the same problem or need the same solution. Now, uh, this model looked really good, but uh, when we started working on this, we faced a lot of challenges. Like as a community, we were creating a lot of uh, content, a lot of IPs, uh, so it was, but it was all closed source. Um, it was like a community of 200, 300 people uh, coming together and then uh, creating all uh, the content. But as more and more people within Microsoft, uh, they got to know about the content, the IPs, they wanted to leverage it for their customers. 
right and uh, this is where uh, this is where uh, it it was like okay everybody started to have their own copies now the scenario was that there were multiple copies of the same uh, in content and nobody knew where the source of truth is like only the core team was aware which is the latest and greatest content that we are having so that was the problem that we had uh, in hand and as a community we started to brainstorm on how we should be solving this problem so like the saying goes bigger the problem bigger the opportunity so uh it it started uh, this was like a starting point for us uh, for our inner source journey right we talked to people within microsoft uh, outside microsoft to know about what are the best practices we should be leveraging for inner sourcing we uh, started to look at some real life examples around inner sourcing and then um, what we did was uh, within the community we started to brainstorm around the design the information architecture that we should be leveraging for inner sourcing so i would not go into the definition of inner source but what uh, one thing which i want to point here is that inner source can be leveraged for anything other than code as well uh, so uh, any kind of um, education content that you have any kind of marketing uh, content you are having any sales content any customer offerings you are having you can inner source everything and uh, this this can be leveraged by people across uh, the organization and outside as well depending upon if you are building some ips or it's a it's a, it's a public or a private uh, content that you are developing so uh, when we started our inner source journey uh, we we knew that it is more of a cultural transformation than a technological transformation so we had four primary goals in mind we wanted uh, to enable a talented workforce um, so inner source when it is done um, right it is the most effective way to release the trapped value in any organization with inner source you are having everything under the sun open and transparent so you are by default creating a culture of collaboration one and thing which we wanted to promote with inner source is big reuse of whatever assets we are developing right uh, reusing others work is one of the core priority for us in microsoft we do not want to reinvent the wheel every time right so uh, inner source helped us to promote that reuse and this resulted in creating happier teams allowing them to release features faster now uh, who all are involved in our inner source journey first and foremost we need the support from leadership leadership needs to know like what impact adopting inner source would create on the culture microsoft ceo satya nadella he um, he actually uh, said that every engineer in microsoft should be uh, should be like doing open source internally so every piece of code anybody writes should be available to anybody and everybody within microsoft and to this day it is the reality of all the engineers within microsoft okay so we have the leadership support then we need the governance and the contribution models to be in place so uh, we we need uh, the we need to know how the users can leverage the content we need to know how the contributors who are not part of the core team who are outside the core team how they can contribute uh, to the content and in case any user contributor has any questions or any i would say um, they want to have a healthy debate about a particular content they can always get in touch with the core team members who are the maintainers of those uh, inner source content 
so we need support from all these roles to have a successful inner source journey so coming to how do we do inner source if you look at um, the uh, center of the picture here we have the core team members who are developing all uh, the ips and the content and uh, while they are developing that there have to be a lot of decision made around uh, the uh, strategy and what all has to be in place this is where uh, they leverage the team channel which is for the core team to make all those decisions and asynchronous communication on the outer circle you see uh, the contributors now these contributors are the people who help us improve that content continuously so they raise pull requests uh, to those content and in case they want to communicate with the core team about any of the pillars and capabilities that we have in our taxonomy they can leverage the community team channels to communicate so that is the collaboration platform that that we have and once the content is available as an individual user you can leverage that content uh, for your own learning you can uh, if you are into uh, project delivery wherein you want to leverage those concepts you can use that content in case you want to upskill um, your team uh, your customers you can use that content for readiness purposes it can be leveraged as an offering for a customer and in case a customer wants to know how we do inner source we can show this as a ready um, example then coming on next to what do we inner source so we have uh, like the name of the community suggests uh, we have a lot of solutions around devops so uh, a lot of solutions a lot of ips around devops and uh, that is what we are in a scoping if you want to know about the devops concepts we have a dependent inner source if you want to know how to implement those concepts uh, like doing hands on labs and all every content around that is in a source and if you want to know where your customer is in the devops journey like uh, if they are just starting in the devops journey if they are quite mature in the journey so we have ips around that as well so that is what uh, we are in a sourcing and leveraging for self learning for educating customers and also in the delivery project and uh, while we are in a sourcing we want to measure some metrics as well and that is where uh, we have certain sample metrics that uh, we keep on measuring like we want to know which are the regions where in uh, maximum uh, active users are which are the top contributors uh, to our content and like um, which are uh, the areas where So we have maximum traction of the users, and also the areas where nobody is leveraging the content. So we are able, looking at all these metrics, we are able to make those informed decisions. So that's about uh, the metrics that we look at, and uh, that was what I wanted to talk about during uh, my uh, case study on DevOps Dojo in the source, but. in case you want to know more about it we have the case study published on inner source commons website as well so i'll paste the link in the chat and in case you want to know more about devops dojo i'll paste few links also in the chat um, for you and you can connect with me over linkedin and we can have for the conversation so that's uh, what i wanted to present and i'll hand it back to the moderators